can't sleep? I don't doubt it. You've uploaded your video and now you think it's time to spread that sucker all over the internet, right? Well, in a manner of speaking, but you've got to do it strategically. See, there's these snips of code that come in handy, the share code and the embed code. Look, can we talk about this in the morning? Good. You can at least close your eyes. Thanks. Once upon a time, there were three little videos, and they all lived in a great big house called YouTube. Every time one of the little videos wanted to go out, they had to use a code. One little video used his share code. It made him look like he was somewhere else, but he was right there at home, sort of like telecommuting. The other little video used the embed code to get out, kind of like staying over at a friend's when they were, um, I mean, I don't really like where this is headed. <laughs> Last time, remember, I gave you seven steps to the upload process. Now there's a couple more we're going to add to that. Number eight, use the share code on all your social media. Number nine, use the embed code on your website or blog. What's the difference, you ask? You were asking that, weren't you? Good, I thought I was hearing things. Share code, and for YouTube users, you can find that right here. Put that in your social media posts and the video thumbnail will show like that. Not only do you want someone to watch the video, but hopefully they will then share it to their friends and contacts. A web page or a blog is a little different. You want people to stay on your site as long as possible. When they do, we refer to the site as being sticky. Now, it's not as messy as it sounds. So when you use the embed code for your site, You'll actually get a video player right at the place where you insert the code, but it does have to be at the code level. And if you're not familiar with the code or your site doesn't have a content management system, you may not be able to do that part yourself. Now, some businesses work with a web developer who can put that code in for you. They already have the login credentials to get at your site's nuts and bolts, as it were. Now, with the embed code, viewers will see the video right there, right on your site, which means they won't be teleported off somewhere else. As you might expect, there is one more important detail you want to remember when you use the embed code. This box right here, the one that will allow videos similar to yours to show once your video has stopped playing. You don't want that. So check here before you grab that embed code. All you have to remember is social media is for sharing. So use the share code for any time you post on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Squidoo, and the list goes on. Oh, and email. Use the share code for email. Don't embed anything. There are little gremlins out there called spam filters, and embedding video is a sure way to get crunched up by them. Get familiar with how your content management system embeds media. If you can host the video on your own server, that's great. However, you still want to use YouTube and Vimeo and all those other sites because our friends, the search engines, like that. Well, I guess that about covers it. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know, or you can download the transcript for this show. In the meantime, that's a wrap.